Enclosure for DI projects. It may sound strange, but the biggest challenge for DI project is enclosure. For a home project, it is almost impossible to process even mild steel. It is too hard to process with simple hand tools and you need a workshop. A significant challenge is your final design weight as well. For practical applications, aluminium, plexiglass and plastic are materials what we can process at home or in a small workshop. For small electronic boards you can get extruded aluminium enclosures for a price below 50 bucks, including shipment. Typically some around 30 bucks. A completely different picture is with the sizes of 20 by 30 centimeters and height of 2U. Prices are rocketing and shipment is about 60 to 100 USD. Often at the beginning we don't know the exact size of the needed enclosure and the beginners are purchasing two small units, trying to save on the size. It results in complex and often non-aesthetic inside assembling and finally landing in purchasing a second enclosure to finish a project. The biggest challenge in purchasing enclosures is weight. The majority of aluminum enclosures are developed using so-called aluminum extrusion panels. It is a great high tolerance technology capable to make complex shapes for a reasonable price. The only drawback is the thickness of the panel walls, typically 2 mm and more. Following all assembled sheet metal plates are 2-3 mm thick to get the necessary strength of assembled unit. The final weight, depending on the size of the 2U unit, is about 6 to 10 kilograms. That is killing direct shipment of low quantities. Resellers should purchase large quantities and send goods by ground or sea. So, seems there are place for niche player and small companies. Let us make the basic requirements for a prototyping box. Easy process with basic metal tools. Critical, just limited number of potential customers has access to workshops and necessary skills to work with the strong ferro materials. Modular, with possibility process flat surface. It is much easier to process flat material than a large bent unit. Steel press nuts to reinforce assembling construction. Press nuts are solving a problem with the thread strengths when working with aluminium. Lightweight below 2 kilograms, including shipping package. Shipping is critical for worldwide sales of relatively low value goods. We should keep shipping costs below 15 bucks for a free shipping offering. For secure shipping, FedEx costs flat rate uh, offering would be around $35. The enclosure should be large enough for all Hypex and Iceberg product lineup as well as majority of the integrated Class D board line of up to 1 kW amp design. Forced cooling option for designs of 500W stereo and above. Majority of DII design is ignoring thermal calculations and manufacturer's recommendations when making 500W uh, stereo designs without appropriate cooling. And it's making tough life for those great Hypex and Ice Power boards. Small shipping package footprint may be advantage of the larger sales when customer purchasing volumes. And the price keep inside of 60 to 100 dollars including shipment for all versions. Solution options. Material 1 mm reinforced aluminium, 2U height, with some possibility mountain rect securing to 2U front panel, and that's optional. Avoid extruded parts to reduce weight. Modular with easy to replace components. Extra component offering for reasonable price in one shipment. Printed and non printed option. Painted and non painted option. Caches without cutouts. And two, three standardized cutout option bundle with connectors. Does my idea fit in a market or simply could I compete? Let's take a look at some of the examples on eBay. Simple box with basic cutouts. Package weight 4 kg, internal widths 221 mm and depths 311. In general, good box. Small and aesthetic amplified caches, but it will have challenges with cooling and your design will look good for the eye, but not the best from engineering point of view. And total price is about $100. $100. A good example of uh, height of 3U and weight 4 kilograms. 
shipping from Poland to my country for just 10 USD. Price is about 130 bucks, which means shipping costs are included in the price. Nice looking amplifier case, looks professional and well designed, I like it. Uh, you can build a good Class AB amplifier with power for about 100-150 watts per channel. Honest price and shipping costs. If you want to build something with higher power, costs and cash's weight are going up rapidly. Branded enclosures are good but expensive, not sure it's worth the money, not for DIY projects. There is alternative, maybe too many cutouts, it's hard to find applications where your flow in the rack is going vertically through the caches. Equipment is stacked and airflow should go from the front to back. Interesting design and reasonable total costs. I like this design and built-in flexibility for mounting electronics. And summary. Could I compete? Yes. Can I do direct sales worldwide? Yes. Can I use eBay as a primary sales engine? No. Unfortunately, eBay costs of sales are relatively high and I need to put a significant extra margin to meet the minimum profit level. Can I use eBay as a primary marketing tool? At some point, yes. I could set an aggressive marketing engine and find out how to move people interest to my web shop where I can offer more products for competitive price. Especially for electronic boards from Ice Power and finished units where sales price is relatively high. By default, eBay is taking a percentage from the sales. When selling finished devices, this extra margin is game stopper. Do I need my internet shop? Yes, I'm working on it. Probably trust and reputation are critical success factors. Will my idea about extra panel sales be sustainable? I don't know. But being a designer, I know everything about a learning curve and mistakes. Mistakes are part of our development and personal growth process. With growing experience, number of mistakes reducing. On the other hand, the complexity of your projects is growing. No, mistakes are an integral part of our experience, and spare panel purchase may be part of the business idea. Let's take a look how the idea looks in a practice. At the time of this video, I do have only proof of concept parts and design. Those are built from non-painted 1mm aluminium. I tested the strength of finished unit uh, with switching mode power supplies. Design is not meant for 10 kg conventional transformer based designs. There you need stronger parts probably from the steel. This is how product look like. Wide 36 cm, depth 24 cm and height 4 cm. Enclosure fits in a flat package. Protective plastic protects parts from scratches. And keeps them together during transportation. Let's unpack taking plastic away to access enclosure components. Be careful when unpacking to avoid scratching parts and panels. Prevent surface scratches during parts processing will be your biggest challenge in this project. Protective plastic may be useful when process parts. During the drilling process you are producing small sharp chips and it is easy to damage surface aesthetics. You should keep clean process culture during the parts processing. To secure powder coated paint aesthetics. This is why we are offering several options and one is non painted parts as well. Then we process parts, drill holes, make cutouts, test how parts fit in holes. Only when everything is fine we paint them. Based on options, what do we have? In real life not all designers have the option to paint parts by themselves. So what do we have? There are six components. Front, back, upper cover, lower cover, and sides. It is your choice which one to take. Pick the part and make necessary holes and fasteners. How about sides? 
Yes, this design has one more advantage. You can secure components to sides. When necessary, assemble excessive number of components and boards. When parts have been processed, it's easy to assemble them in enclosure. Self-clinking nuts are made from strong steel. When processed in aluminium, they provide strong and reliable threads. After parts assembled into enclosure, it is lightweight and strong, despite of the thin parts of material. Now let us assemble parts. First put all parts together without screws. Then screw all parts together, but not tighten yet. This will ensure that we don't create internal tensions in the final assembling. Holes have some space to play. When we assemble parts, those take the right place and we are ready to tighten the screws. It is how it looks assembled. Let's take a look to some design examples. There is one of the products that we are selling now. This is a final prototype developed for tests. The business idea is making DI product enclosure with done harnessing. To build a 500W stereo high-quality amplifier, we just purchase size power boards and connect connectors. Active cooling is a valuable option. Another design. It is very interesting 2 times by 500W amplifier. Amplifier board has been elaborated in China. It is a professional grade design, still keeping very good audio reproduction. All components are from proven manufacturers. We did a blind test and compared them with ice power and they are close. Later we take a closer look to this board, but now take a look at the design details. You can see how easy we can dis disassemble the enclosure. We can remove all components and keep harnessing untouched. It's easier to assemble than an already folded body. Each part is separate. You can assemble them one by one and put together just at the final assembling stage. In this design, holes and components has perfect match. I did a good job during the computer idea design process. Central board secured to the bottom plate with the fasteners. Plastic protective foley prevents main voltage touches to enclose the surface. It reducing potential risks of mains hazard in case of bending bottom part. This is nice design. I'm proud how the final design looks like. It is kind of amplified workhorse. It is reliable. It has an optimized cooling design, good airflow and correct heatsink orientation. Extremely lightweight enclosure. You can lift 500 watt stereo amplifier with one hand. With easy placement, you can stack equipment without impact on cooling airflow. Cooling airflow taking air from the front panel and blowing out through the back panel. Assembling guidance. Let's remember once more. First, put parts together, attach screws, but not secure yet. Check that all parts are correct and then tighten. Now, as promised, a little bit about the amplifier. It has LLC resonant type power supply. It is the best uh, switching mode power supply architecture for audio amplifiers. Large MOSFETs with significant power headroom in the power supply stage. Good manufacture output filter inductivity is a critically important. Rely output for speaker protection in rush delay. Speakers are the most expensive part of the audio setup, and we need to protect them. In case of total failure, our speakers will be protected. All type of protection, over temperature, short output, uh, over voltage, etc. A later generation MOSFETs for amplifier stage. Infinon, proven brand class D gate driver. Infinon is a leader in gate driver production. Components from the best. It's not a surprise that sounds is great, even with a low noise floor. My rating is 8 points from 10, with exceptionally high operation reliability. Fundamental work, pleasant design. Basic telemetry. Ready, level, clipping, fault. You can set input sensitivity as well. Working with the smaller speakers reduce input sensitivity to avoid overloading them. The amplifier will work in a smaller power range with extra power headroom. 
my judgment, good professional grade board and reliable final design in a small footprint. I put some effort to make it noiseless. For silent airflow I'm using aluminium net instead of simple cutouts. German manufactured silent series 80mm fan. Sometimes small things matter. System noise floor is very low, from 10 cm it's noiseless. Take a look to assembled box, it looks almost pro. Imagine it painted and with added silkscreen prints. It will stand out from the crowd. Ok, let us assemble everything to its initial state. With 5 times acceleration I'm super productive. Genius design with the simplicity and lightweight. Ready for worldwide sales and higher shipment. Let's check closer dimensions, wide 30 cm, depth 20 cm and height 88 mm or about 9 cm. It's 2U standard. With slight modification and 2U front panel you can secure it in a rack as well. Pro grade concept. Honestly, I like this design and sometimes you need a workhorse amplifier. Simple, lightweight, strong and reliable. And there is one more hint how to make cutouts in a flat panel. Front Panel Express is an American company offering front panel development services. Front panel means flat surface. As long as my prototyping case consists of six flat panels, you can model your cutouts using simple software provided by this company. Logic is similar to working with millimetric paper. It is easy to learn the intuitive tool. The latest development allows you to many things, including export to the XF coordinate format, suitable for CNC router, and rough estimation how much your work would cost in a professional workshop. I would say the prices are fair and relative to time spent on an individual custom project. My video is not a training source, it's just a giving a generic impression of what you can make and how much time does it take to draw something. Speed is 3 times the real one. Front Panel Express providing online training videos and educational content related to this software. An excellent option of this software is the possibility to print out contours with a central point. Take a print and glue with a simple paper glue to the panels and you have the necessary marks to process your cutouts.